Hello. <coughs> Hello. Welcome, guys, to today's match between me and Matthias Blubaum from Germany. Uh, we both won the first matches, so they will play against each other. So Matthias started with the first d4. Uh, I'm going to play on d6. c4, e6. c3, bishop d4, e3. I'm going to go short castle. Should be two, it's named the Indian, one of the most popular openings. I'm gonna play c5. A3, uh, okay, take, I think. Knight e4 is the theory, as far as I know. Knight e2, b6. Uh, d5, okay. Uh, once we completion the center, we should be 6 Don't look logical, start with a6. Hit this c4 pawn. There was some Aronians game. We should play six, we should be seven. I saw I, there was a couple of games. Should be six played uh, uh, Levon Aronian in 2019. I think it's an interesting line. The idea is sort of that at e3, the knight, knight xc3, knight xc3, we should take c4, we should take c4 and queen h4 uh, with winning a pawn. Of course, we have some conversations still, but like it's a, still a pawn. Okay, uh, let's see what he does here. Uh, queen d3, okay. Uh, what can I do? Uh, queen d3, okay, I can take or I can. Five, five, queen seven, that's a six. I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. If I take on d5, queen d5, queen 7 queen 8 I see 6 works. Okay, I'm just gonna do this. I'm not sure if it's working or not. I guess queen 8 I see 6 obviously. Next queen's trap. I guess it works for the queen, but I all have. Big advantage of development. It's a very complicated position. I have no idea what's going on. Probably if he doesn't do anything special, I'm just gonna play with next with knight c6. To hold my knight, finish development. Okay, he goes g3, which is uh, interesting ways to develop the bishop. I'm gonna play just knight c6. <sighs> Probably just rook e8. I could have taken c3 first, but I don't see a reason why to do it just yet. Idea is also if you play short castle, I go then knight xc3 and knight a5, which is bc4 pawn, which it should be really good. Okay, now, uh, okay, let's just take it and knight a5. I want to see anything. Ah, he has knight b5. Never mind, he has knight b5. But knight b5 still I have some queen e6, I guess. A queen is, uh, knight b5, I missed. But okay, I still have. Bishop b7, which looks very decent. I'm trying to trade those bishops. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna trade, play queen e4, and pawn c4 should fall. Unless, uh, unless he has this move. Yeah, obviously he has this move. Yeah, right now I'm just worse. Six fifty one, I guess. Okay, 
uh, let's try to hold it. Mm, I think it'll be eight. Yeah, uh, that's just stupid. Right now I'm worse, but okay, let's try to hold it. Four. Um, it's gonna take probably nice six. We finally five the back. You have backward on C4 as well, so I hope it should be sufficient to hold it. I want to sort of also maybe kick his knight of d6 in some way, or maybe also maybe I, I can try to play maybe knight b3, knight c5, and free my rook from d8, e4. Uh, yeah, I'm clearly worried, obviously, but uh, let's, let's play g6. Back, don't like it. Three, six. Look if we have nine rook takes d six, so that's my little trick here. Five, uh, okay. Okay, let's do just this. I really like it, but. Seven, right? I be seven, knight c5, or at least trade both knights. G5. Uh, okay, probably I have to take. I have to take. B7. Maybe I don't have to take. Maybe I can play this. Ah, I should have taken. Oh, maybe, maybe not. Maybe doesn't. Maybe it doesn't matter. I don't know. Take stakes. Um, G7, G6. Looks bad. It's really, really bad. Okay, let's do this. I don't like it, but. Throwing a check, maybe. Yeah, it's just lost. Yeah, just, just over. Yeah, like too bad the first one. Okay. So it didn't start well. Okay, let's go to the next one. Uh, I play with five right now. Uh, so I play, let's play d4. Six, uh, let's play c4, six. Um, let's play just g3, let's play, let's go for the catalog. Three, uh, a short castle, I think, is the line, or a three. We see two also as possible. I think a three is the line. We should be six. Um, I don't quite remember what was going on here. It's been some time since I looked at it, but I will just recapture the pawn. Maybe we should see three first. Yes, we should see three to cover e5. Queen e7. Can I go knight e5 or not? Uh, I think I can. Five for good and he takes six ninety five. Right, I can take on d five, but uh, this will leave him with 
some chances to equalize, I guess. We only open for bishops, so I'm just gonna play this. It takes on c3 with the queen. Uh, rook d8, uh, rook d1, I can't. Oh, actually, I can. I can go rook d1. The question is if I want to. Um, not sure. Yeah, I think I want to play rook d1, and knight d2 next. Because now rook d3, I have rook d8. And yeah, I think this is working. But yeah, it's knight d2 and bring the knight to the game. Or they on d5, maybe now, if I, if I can. Probably I shouldn't be doing this. But uh, okay, knight d2 looks normal. And uh, knight e4 also looks normal. Trying to bring the knight to c5, maybe, or maybe pick queen c5. Maybe bishop d2, bishop g5 sometimes is an idea. a4, logical. I'm just going to play rook a c1 because I don't see anything better than that. I mean, it's more like this such, such move cannot be bad. So I just have to play it quickly rather than uh, be wondering if there's anything better. Wait, can I play knight f6 right now? f6 takes queen g4, uh, take on f6. I have knight f6 here. I really want to. Oh boy. Okay, I don't know. I'm just gonna play h4 because I have to play something that. Let's just blunder. But damn, I just blundered a piece. Just blundered a piece. Oh my god. six obviously earlier good or bad but much better than this I still have some chances here but my dear bishop c6 is going to fall for it.
and it's just obviously lost. There's literally nothing I can do. All right, so definitely didn't start well, but okay, it's still some games. Okay, let's go. Four and six. And the three is play d5, uh, play six, bishop d6, special castle d6. Seven. Should be three. Uh, okay, I'm gonna play c5. I'm not mistaken. But I think if I'm not mistaken, it's the theory. H4. Okay. Uh, let's go knight c6. I don't really want to play h6. That's why I would rather play probably queen c7. Yeah, let's go queen c7. h6, g6. I'm putting pressure on e5, which is uh, generally a good idea. Uh, wait, can I take bishop takes f4 first? I can, I would. Should I uh, take stakes? Mm. Yeah, I think I should. I think I should do it and take the bishop. Okay. I want to at some point play 94 and just sacrifice a pawn. If, I, if he plays actually always go g6, obviously. And as long as his queen doesn't get to g7, I'm not getting made it. Let's go to d8. And pawn h6 after a castle, especially, could become a weakness. Not sure if it will, but it might. Let's go queen 7 I get maybe queen f8. Okay, I think I can do this in knight h5. Not entirely sure, but I think I'm winning a pawn. Because I'm hitting both h6 and f4 pawns, and he cannot defend in such a way. I, maybe he can. Maybe he can play like queen h2. Queen h2 is very. Uh, but then I'd anyway take. Because g4, queen f4, and then what he do is hanging. So I think no matter what he does, I'm just taking in the run of 4 on h6 next move. Probably should, I don't know what he should do. Probably should play maybe g3 or something. Yeah, I'm gonna take okay, his extra pawn. We should be two. Uh, okay, I think I should play king g7 and to go for the end game. Or Maybe just take we should be seven. We should send immediately. Maybe this immediately. H4.
Let's go king g7, knight, 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 and knight f6. If I trade the prince, I'm going to just with extra pawn. His only way to create some mess is to create some attack on the king's side, but if he doesn't do it, I will be just with extra pawn. Bishop a6 is a very sneaky move, but I can just go rook b8. Vergon d is hanging. So yeah, knight f6 is probably my next move. Okay, if he takes, I take, takes, takes. Knight f3, uh, okay, it's extra pawn. Of course, he has compensation still. Mm. Let's play f6, probably. Hope to bring this bishop to the bare diagonal. Uh, with bishop e, bishop g6 at some point. For now, though, I have to figure out the way to defend the e6 pawn. So I'll probably just rook c6. Okay, Trump should be eight. Probably should go. Okay, this is possible. Um. Okay, I have to do this. To play a five, most likely. Uh, here goes a five. Okay, if this. I was thinking maybe I can go bishop g6. Okay, I'm not sure if this is working or not, but uh, I think is if I if he takes me six, I take a bishop e4, he'll be pinned, and he can will not be able to unpin himself. So it should be good. Yeah, so he goes here. Um, okay. I should start with this just to open the position a little bit. Okay, let's go with this. Becoming really sharp. Because if five, I take, take, rook seven. And here I was thinking I can play move a four or something like this. Let's go at four. Takes. Probably just my rook c4. I don't quite like the rook six. Let's go just go king f5. Wait, why did I do that? Why do I do why did I do that? Absolutely for no reason, I just gave h7 pawn. Can just take now. Go to check. This was so stupid of me, so careless. Okay, G5. Uh, okay, take the pawn. I want to have activity. G5 is two. Probably should be just some draw objectively. Such active king of mine. Two. Go just g4. I think I can do it. Okay, nice to not lose first, finally. But uh, yeah, it was much better game finally by me. Too bad, it's like the score is still bad. But okay. Let's see what happens in the next one. 
Uh, okay, let's go D4 again. D5, C4, C6, let's go into D3. I'm gonna play Queen D3. Let's go G3, Bishop G2, short castle. I'm gonna play Queen D3. And D2, it's sort of a trend. Knight C4. Takes a cake. Now we should have four. I want to go to d6. Maybe the bishop or the knight should be four. Uh, not to quite recall what to do next here. Uh, I think bishop d6 was correct. Yeah, bishop is most correct if I don't think of mixing, mixing up the lines. I think queen c2 looks decent. But there is a e4. Okay, now I take the bishop. Rook eight. Okay, this should be somewhat better for me. Probably not so much, but it should be something somewhat better. Uh, knight c4 or e3. No, e3 is knight b6. What I'm talking about. So knight c4 probably should just move back my knight. Knight b6. Uh, okay. Let's just take. Yeah, let's just take and play e3. I was like playing queen takes b6. Um, now, probably just queen c3. Oops. I am trading queens here. If you want to play e5, so it was my primary objective to stop e5. And now we just rook c1. Allows me to play probably a4. Queen f5, just king g2, should be normal. Rook e8, he finally prepares e5, uh, which I normally should care, but I don't think I should care too much about it. Okay, let's go before. Nothing wrong with that, probably. Just takes. If rook takes queen d4, I was thinking. Some issues with the pawn b6. That's why I, initially I was thinking he should play queen takes b6 earlier, not pawn takes b6, because the, the structure gets a little bit worse than it was, than it should be normally. Uh, so if he takes the queen, I can take and b5 maybe, take this bishop b7. It's a uh, round equal. Next 
Okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm not quite sure about it, but probably it just ends up in some equal uh, rook endgame, um, rook and knight versus uh, rook and bishop endgame. But I think he still has some issues here to resolve. Like, uh, probably just this. Maybe here at first, king g6 he has to play. This looks a little bit annoying. And now let's go here. Probably that was just nothing. I couldn't quickly develop, bring my bishop to the very squares. Okay, this I take. 95. Um, Yeah, we should see two, obviously. Oh my god. I blundered again. Did I? Two bishop c two ninety four, king f three. Probably some draw, but uh, Knight of six, I have g4. He's pinned from all the diagonals and fire and ranks, so he cannot take on g4. And uh, let's take the pawn, probably. Okay, it's becoming messy. Uh, which is good for me, probably, because I mean, I'm a little down in the match, so I should try to uh, somehow win, at least try to win. <sighs> but I can't find. Yeah, I couldn't find a path here. Maybe four should have played it anyway. Okay, next one. Okay, d4. Okay, let's, let's play c5 and uh, play something uh, aggressive at this point. I could try to win uh, at any cost. Uh, okay, okay, is normally the move here. I play something else. Okay, six, maybe seven. Okay, seven. There, there is such a line here, which is not considered not as strong or like not as correct as rook e8 but uh, nonetheless it's i think quite interesting i just play b5 right now obviously okay e4 normally just knight g4 that's why normally the, um, not normally but like that the people play sometimes h3 in order to have um, g4 square cover in case of e4 in case why would play e4 because then knight g4 is not possible. Right now e4 knight g4 and come knight comes coming to e5 is 
pretty standard idea. Uh, okay, B5 probably. Just take, I think, the rook. Queen C2. Um, I just play ninety five. Yeah, maybe C four ninety three sometimes. Also, Bishop G four could be an idea to play uh, some of my ninety three. B3 is normal. Uh, can I play this bishop g4? I was thinking. And the idea is knight f3. And maybe rook b8 as well. I kind of like it. I'm going to do it. It's, normally, it's not possible because the pawn's on h3. But uh, right now, okay, okay. If plays h3, is the question what I'm doing whether I'm just playing knight f3 or bishop f3 or just have to go back. I wouldn't want to go back, but if I have to, then I have to. Have Mm, I mean, let's see. Okay, rook e3. This was sort of what I was hoping for. Right now, I have, uh, I wanted to play rook b8, and then it comes with ten piece. Now h3, and uh, I should probably just go back even to c8 to cover a6 pawn. And maybe I just play queen b7, or I don't know. Just want to cover a6 pawn, just in any case. Shabbat makes no good use. Also, in any case, I have the seven square for my knight if I ever want to retreat or had to retreat. Uh, okay. Um, G5 also looks decent right now. Let's play G5, try to get, I mean, win the pair of bishops. Before knight b2, knight comes to better squares, which is that kind of was the problem of bishop b7, maybe bishop c8 move. Um, but okay, uh, too late now. Uh, if bishop e4, I should start with this no matter what he does. And now probably I should play even. G4. Maybe not, I don't know. Okay, I think I have to go A5 and Bishop A6. Also, the idea is that maybe if nice C4, I have A4. In ninety three, I go rook b six, obviously, to cover in any case six rank. Interesting move. You know what? Just play this. I don't. I don't, I don't want to spend too much time uh, on calculating should be two a four, which is probably critical winning the pawn. But then he has some e five counterplay, which I didn't want to really allow. I mean, he would probably have anyway if it's such counterplay. But the thing is with I think it should be six. If you've ever played knight d3 or knight c4, I just eliminate the knight. I have a very powerful bishop on d4. And right now he doesn't have e5 because I take. If you look at five, oh, this is a move I was thinking about you should do. Uh, but right now it's the same story. I mean, similar story, uh, not the same. Uh, but uh, I think I'm just winning a pawn. Uh, take. I 
can play right now uh, either A4 or C4, Rook takes E4. All the moves look, uh, all the moves look interesting. Uh, probably. Okay, I'm gonna play a four. B5, rook b3, try to trade some pieces, pawn takes. B6, he should play. Very complicated. But I think that with this b3 pawn, which is very advanced, I have some chances here. And uh, uh, C4. Try to just push both pawns C3, even sacrifice, but play B2. Okay, I'm gonna play h6 because uh, just to just make sure I cover g5 pawn. Six. Okay, let's push. Let's push. Queen c2. Uh, can I just grab this? Queen g7, queen six, queen bh8, queen b6, b1 queen. Okay, I don't know. I don't really know. I think b1 queen right now wins the game. Should win the game. Now stabilize queen e7. Uh, just rook f8. Just one, just one check. Queen f6. Take this guy. This should be over. There we go. Finally, finally got to win a game. Very complicated, very complex, but still alive. Uh, still alive. Uh, okay, so next game. Play d4. Play d6, play c4. Play F E three. His name is Indian. Okay, B six he plays. Uh, I think short castle is okay. Short e6. I'm not sure. Uh, this is in line, which I had looked at a long, long time ago. Can I just take play bishop b2? C1. Queen ID two, C five, uh, probably just takes. We just take it. He has some decision to make, but which, what does, what does he want to take it with? This is the pawn. Um, logical. Queen ID three. Should I play him behind? Let me shot C three first. But anyway, it doesn't quite matter, probably. 
should see frequency 2, root d1. I mean, some playable position. Okay, 94. I wasn't expecting this move. It's probably a decent move. Uh, I should play bishop c3, I guess. Yeah, why not? I maybe want to take right now on e4. Also, queen a4, rook fd1, some ideas like this. Okay, he takes here. I'm gonna take the h pawn, obviously. I think I'm slightly better because of the pawn structure. Uh, yeah, this was this was expected, sort of, because he wants to go knight c5 and uh, land his knight, move his knight to on the d3 square. Uh, Maybe I'm not better. Let's play b3. Challenge this pawn. Challenge his pawn. I'm playing mostly against his pawn structure right now. So I didn't want to let him get this knight to d3 square where it would be very strong. Maybe I should play, maybe could have played queen c2 as well, but this looks decent. Uh, now, probably with the. I should have, probably should take the queen. Knight c5 and uh, simply retreat with my queen somewhere to, for instance, uh, c2. Okay, knight d4. Uh, queen d3 looks normal. It's very solid position, obviously, for, for black. So it will be it probably will be not easy to uh, create some chances here for me, but I will try anyway. Rook d1. Probably bishop d1 is my next move. Not sure, though. No, not sure. I mean, bishop d1 secures everything on the king side. Uh, bishop d3. Wait, wait, wait. Did I just blunder? I hope I did not, but uh, maybe I did. Okay, bishop f6. Uh, I can play bishop f6. I can, rook c2, queen c7 could be a problem, right? So uh, maybe I should be a little bit more careful. But bishop f6, king stakes, knight c3. I still hang on. Uh, rook e1. Yeah, I should do this. Don't like what I did, but uh, I think I'm still alive here. Missing too much tactics, that's for sure. If queen a5, I just take on c8 and retreat from a bishop to d4, probably, and I'm fine. So uh, if he wants to do anything tactically, he should take the queen on f6, queen a3, and search for some ideas here with knight c3. But I don't see it, because rook e1. And uh, I think I'm pretty safe. If I get my knight to d4, I mean, then I have to get knight d4. It's not, it's not like something I position I really wanted to get, but because I played this stupid move rook fd1, I should have played something else. Okay, he takes the knight. OK, I'm going to take queen d6. and. Uh, Okay, let's go 94. I just think there is nothing wrong with this. There can't be anything wrong with this. H6. Okay, I probably. Okay, let's go 95. Let's go 95. I'm not sure if this is correct, but. I have to try it at least. Queen e6, uh, let's go 94 back. Queen c5. Okay, should I trade queens or not? Mm. 
प्यार के रशियों इसके बाद सेम गेम शुड बी पार्ट फॉर मी राइजिंग एंड शुड बी पार्ट फॉर मी लाइक दिस नॉट मच बट क्विज टू सिंपली Six. Okay, let's go queen c six now. Queen e two. Okay, I'll try a four. He doesn't. He doesn't have ninety four yet. Rook f eight. Okay, let's go queen c two now. Queen e four. Knight c six. Probably seems like this is a bit fast. There's some issues with this a pawn right now. Okay, I have some chances here. Not sure how realistic, realistically speaking, how big they are, uh, but there are some chances. Okay, let's go back with my knight to cover. In any case, knight three. Also, queen f5 could be an idea. Queen f5 is an idea, actually. Uh, and yeah, let's just play this. Okay, it's becoming. Time scramble, so uh, I'll probably talk, uh, talk less right now. Four, okay, let's play a five. C four would be wrong. Ninety four, uh, okay, three probably. Where the third is, but because I can get this guy. Okay, I think I can go here and escape with my king. Ninety-five. Okay, it's becoming out of control a little bit. Ah, I got way out of control. Damn, I'm lost right now. I got way out of control. I'm gonna trick here. Okay, let's take. Here, ah, here's rook h5 made. Ah. Yeah, I got way out of control here. Okay, this is 4 2, if I'm not mistaken. So, okay, I had to win two games to even score. All right, so. Uh, Four and six. C four and six. Let's play C four. Uh, I'll play this. Okay. In the first game, I took on B five. Let me repeat this. I will repeat it. Maybe D6 I can play. Oh yeah, bishop B7. But then queen A8 is the problem, obviously. Six. Okay, let's do this. Thank you. 
Okay, maybe I will take here like this. Take. Yeah. Oh, that's a messy position. I spent way too much time, but if I don't come up with something, I will just lose. Like, like I will not be able to win anything, get anything playable, more or less, what I'm trying to say. Uh, and I will damage it in, in the result, so I have to try. Okay, but okay, I have extra pawn. Right now, his king is still in the center. Assume. Cannot take, we don't defy Spain. Okay, I have four. Uh, let's just play rookie eight. I mean, can be bad to bring the, the game. Maybe G5 is my idea right now. Okay. Uh, let's play D5. I don't want to go back on my bishop. I allow him to take on C4, but it will be exchanged up for me, so it should be winning. Thanks, 96. I have, extra, I, have, I have extra exchange, which definitely should be winning for me. I hope I can convert that. Uh, now knight c7, I think, is a 4.6. It's all good. I need to will, I mean, I should try to trade uh, his active knight. Or spacey free and uh, queen to five, probably. Queen a seven. Uh, let's go eight. Queen a five would be free. A4, uh, let's play rook b8. It can be bad to improve the rook. I should make also move like g6 right now, probably on the next move, just to make sure my king is safe. In any case, uh, I'll just play g6 just to, as I said, just to make sure that my king is safe here. Just king g7, also just full prophylaxis. It cannot be bad. Such moves. Uh, and the idea is obviously to play rook b1. Could have done, 
was moved earlier, but uh, okay. Now rook a3, and rook b2 idea. If we should be five, I go ahead and rook a1, I guess, and should be somehow winning. Should be winning, obviously. Okay, uh, rook b2, queen f6 is a threat. Not well right now. I'll just start with queen f6, being on f2, f4. Okay, let's play c2, and rook b1. Make sure nothing happens. Yeah, nothing happens. Takes and rook a1. It's game over. All right, for free. Such a close match. Uh, but everything will go okay. Let's. Okay, I won't. I won't say anything. But let's just play next game and see what happens. <clears throat> just grab some water. Okay. Um, let's switch it up a little bit. Let's play for finally. It's like a must be situation. So, and uh, yes, yeah, play d3. It's a, it's a must win for me right now. So, I d3, d6. Usually they don't. Do this normally with the c5, but in this case, it's idea c3, seven. Okay, I don't know, let's play e5 and d4. We should be free. It's some theoretical position, I guess. Maybe it can be down for me, but whatever. All I care is to have some playable position, so that's all that, that I care about right now in this, in this game. Rook one. Uh, bring the knight to a one g three. Hope for some activity on the king side. Knight one d four. All right. Let's go knight g three. Let's just go for the attack, or like hope to create some attack. On the king side. Rook c8. Um, I have some moves here. He wants to go knight b4, obviously. Knight b4 is, is, is his idea, most likely. I don't like it, but I'll just play it. It's to stop like before, it's very primitive, but anyway. Uh, okay, queen c7. He wants to go right now, queen c2, I, I guess. Let's go bishop g5. If I trade for your bishops, then I can bring my queen a little bit faster to the king side. Ah, he has h6. Okay, right now I have to go knight h3, which is certainly with nothing, not the thing I wanted, but I have to because otherwise the queen will, the queen, uh, queens will be traded. But anyway, I go now queen g4, and I hope there's some knight f4, knight h5, some stuff like that will, will work in my favor. Obviously, it's a very complicated position. But this was sort of something that I was aiming for. Uh, okay, queen, probably e2. To hit the knight and uh, play knight f4 on the next move. Or maybe rook ab1. 
Okay, that's that's okay. Uh, okay. Let's just keep it rolling. Maybe a four or five. I will play. Like it's, it's, it's for me. It's just right now, like all or nothing. So uh, I have to try something at least. Okay, let's go at four. I'm just lost actually. This king is most careless. Very careless move. Okay, I don't know. Probably just lost. Yeah, it was absolutely not. I just well, I played too ambitious. It was too ambitious for me. Come on, I hope this is lost. I hope this thing was like this. Never gonna happen. This concludes, I think. Four and a half, three and a half. I mean, obviously, he was winning those games. So. I'm not complaining about the draw, but anyway.
the congrats to Matthias. I was at least uh, even pretty even match. If I didn't lose the first two games, uh, probably would be probably I would probably would end like four four or something because I shouldn't have blundered <laughs> probably like uh, like the be sick on the second game. But anyway, happened. Too late to be sorry about it. So yeah, like 